G'day, my name's Martin Hurley and I'm, uh, I'm known as a Cell Photos Online dude, right? Okay, now, it's good to be here. I'm going to be really quick and uh, run through uh, just a little question that Guy sent in for me. And uh, this uh, question should uh, help you out if you're a photographer and you're interested in selling more photos online and uh, promoting and marketing your photography, okay? This is what I do, right? Okay, now the first question is, we're talking to this guy and he says to me, uh, he's in the beginning of trying to get his photos out there, right? And he's using stock photo websites, right? But he's, uh, okay, that's fantastic. And he wants to upgrade to a digital SLR and he wants to um, be a full-time photographer. He wants to probably, I think he wants to stop work, you know, and... Uh, and you let his photographs uh, make him a full-time income, which is a great thing. Fantastic, all right? Now, anyway, so what do I say to him? I gave him a short answer, right? And the answer was, oh, we nearly forgot. We nearly forgot something. I forgot to tell you what he was, uh, what this guy's um, passion is, right? And his passion is that he likes to take, uh, take pictures of uh, animals in nature, the, the animals moving in nature, you know what I mean? Okay, now, now what's cool about that? What's cool about that? It's a question, right? What's cool about that? You know what's cool about that? It's a fantastic niche, right? Now that is cool. See, a lot of photographers do have niches. I mean, everyone's different, right? And every photographer has a different style. And that style is your niche, okay? That's unique. That's unique. That's special for you, okay? No one does anything the same as that, okay? So, you know, that's what's special about, that's the great thing about photography. If you're a photographer, you can do this sort of thing. Okay, now this guy, I'm going to be quick here, right? But this guy says, okay, so he takes pictures of animals in nature, and that's fantastic, right? So what did I say? What do I say to him, right? I said to him, it's a very unique niche, okay, it's very unique. Uh, now, what you've got to do is check out if there's a demand for it, all right, like, because there's no point doing all this stuff if you seriously want to make money online as a photographer, unless you do your research, right? You've got to do your research, and this is a matter of uh, knowing the supply and demand, okay? It's very important, no point going out there, taking photographs, doing all this stuff, and then finding out that no one's going to buy it, there's no market for it, right? Now this is important, I know, you probably don't want to hear this, and you might not even want to do this, but I tell you, you got to know your keywords. you got to know your keywords, mate, I tell you. You know this and you got it. you got it if you know this, right? Anyway, I said to him, you got to check out your market demand, and uh, how could you do that? Well, one quick way, you could go to Amazon.com and you could check out the best sellers, right? The best selling books and you could pop, pop in and find out what's people, what are people buying, okay? That's just one way, but that's a good way to find out. There's other ways as well. Okay, the other thing is I checked the keywords myself and I found out that last month there was roughly 5,000 people who were searching for animal calendars, right? This is just an example. That's two, it's a keyword there. It's like actually two keywords, right? And the, the supply was less than that. It was around about half that amount, okay? The supply is how many people, websites actually are talking or have, that, have those keywords on them. So, that was good. Okay, he just shows you, a quick example to show you, there's a demand there, especially for that particular keyword, right? Anyway, okay, so I said to him, okay, one thing you could do is test the waters using eBay, right? Because eBay is so damn expen inexpensive, right? eBay is fantastic, it's a good place to go up there and test and, and uh, put on a product, maybe a CD or maybe a DVD whatever, an original photograph, a framed photograph, something like that, right? So what do I say to him? Okay, you can test the waters on eBay and uh, maybe uh, use cafepress.com to, uh, you know, drop ship or print up your uh, framed photograph or whatever you want to put your photograph on. Or maybe you could do free screen savers, you know, about your niche. This is about his animal niche, okay? Or it just uh, offer downloads to get subscribers on your website, all right? Okay, what else do I say to him? Uh, also, you could do something like t-shirts um, and make sure you 
uh, focus on uh, creating a website or a blog that's specifically on your niche okay not a like not just a photography website right but a photography a website a photography website that is specific on your niche it's about animal you know animal photography specialized you know specialized about what you do but you've got to check out your supply and demand if this is really important we'll get back to that okay also I said uh, you could uh, uh, offer to sell CDs or how do I how I do it DVDs right how I take the pictures of uh, animals in nature you know this is certainly a special technique to doing that isn't it you know it's a question I'm asking you isn't there that's a technique like I don't know how to do it but I bet you he knows how to do it, right? So it oh, you, you made it a matter of getting someone to even interview him, right? Or you, if you're into photography, right? Uh, especially if you're a good photographer and you know, you know, you know a lot of stuff about what you do. In fact, you're passionate. You just get someone to interview you, and so you can uh, just talk naturally about your fo uh, photographs. Now you do it, and you put it onto a DVD, and you check it out in eBay, and you whack it onto eBay. And it costs you five dollars for ten days or seven days, whatever it is. Okay, okay. So um, I said to him, get out there and try some of these things out and get some feedback. Maybe put up a blog, uh, talk to the enthusiasts, find out what the market wants, what they what they like, and uh, build your brand and become the master of your domain. I didn't tell him that, but I think that's very important for photographers to do. And uh, this is it. I'm just gonna sign off now because that's enough. And what I'm gonna do is talk about more photography uh, marketing stuff uh, pretty shortly on the next video. Make sure you rock up to my website and sign up to my e-zone. And um, any more questions you got about marketing or selling photography, nothing too technical, because I don't know that stuff, right? Make sure you ask me because I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of videos and I'm going to answer every single one of your questions. Alright? Alright then, on ya.